Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, making this video provide some life updates, um, some excuses of why I probably won't be making some videos and some apologies of, of uh, I really so am sorry if, if you were looking forward to some of these videos and I'm looking to take the channel in maybe a slightly different direction. Um, and all this is sort of related to this bigger overall problem with AI and, and really um, making models or making quantitative models um, in a decision-making capacity. So I think it's really important, especially if you're, if you're making these AI models, data science models, whatever you want to call it, statistical models, um, and you're you know doing this for a very important clinical decision, a, a decision, a clinical decision, a financial decision, a business decision, research decision, um, you know, just something, <clears throat> if you're doing this to influence um, of something, um, somebody has to take responsibility for that. And I, if I think, I think it's really clear um, if you think about it in the context of medicine. So, you know, for where I got my PhD, we worked in a lab with, you know, tons of brilliant people. And they would come up with these algorithms to that, that computers were able to look at um, CT scans or histology slides, biomarkers from, from individuals. Uh, and be able to detect if they had a fracture or if they had a um, cancer or if they had, you know, some, some malignancy um, better than the doctor could or maybe 5% better, 3% better, 10% better than doctor could. Um, and so, you know, normal, normally, yes, from a data science perspective, you would say, okay, well, great. Um, let's go ahead and implement this in the clinic. Let's, let's uh, get this out there. Um, but the, this is the real issue is that somebody kind of has to take responsibility for that. Um, and somebody, and there are, it's very unclear that if you make a model um, and you miss, and, and there's, cause there's always gonna be that miss, right? So you're 95% accurate, what about that 5%? Um, even if a doctor, if a person, cause there's, there's kind of, there's sort of a structure for dealing with that, right? Like there's stuff like um, malpractice suits, um, there's a process you can you can file a, a um, you know I don't I'm not gonna pretend I'm the, I'm the malpractice medical malpractice expert but but there's some there's some operations that exist around that um, versus the sort of data science models especially making clinical decisions um, and financial decisions and this is kind of directly getting to why I probably won't make another stock video based on programming specifically um, uh, because. For my job, I mean, there I work in this industry, and now that I work in the financial industry, that if I have, if I give a recommendation that is counter, so if I'm talking to somebody or anybody, and I have two conflicting recommendations, and I say, I say formally this stock is a buy, but my model, I teach somebody to make a model, and that model spits out a, a, a sell, or you know, I'm I'm I make a model and I sell it, and then. It spits out is for whatever reason it's con conflicting to what I'm currently saying at that time. Um, <clears throat> that's that's a really big deal, and and I don't I don't, I'm, I don't want to lose my job obviously, um, and there's a lot of reasons why, um, and I think that it was really just that. Um, that's like the really major thing that that's like mean you know, obviously the really easy reason to say why, but I think there's a couple other reasons why I specifically. Um, kind of chose to not follow this. And, and so I think this is kind of fits more into the channel description um, and sort of going to the next steps. But um, so, I mean, I started just kind of a background. I, I started as a biochemist. Um, I got my master's degree in biochemistry and I was really interested in doing research. And, um, and I've always been, I've always tried to, to focus on whatever I am. So when I was a biochemist, I tried to be the best biochemist I could. Um, and then I wanted to learn how to, how to apply machine learning and I, how I wanted to learn about data science more. So I, I tried to become the best data science I could. Um, and now I'm in a financial industry. Now I'm an, an equity analyst or I'm an equity associate. Um, and so my goal is really to um, be the best associate that I can possibly be and, and really conflicting with that. So that's why, that's when I, when I think about <clears throat> what I actually want to do and, you know, the, the kind of videos that I really want to make. Um, the kind of videos I'd be good at making, to be quite honest. Um, when I think about that, I think about, you know, looking at biotech stocks specifically and talking about how, how to analyze them, maybe. Um, and I'm still, it's still kind of the same thing. I'm still hesitant because I obviously don't want to give any recommendations um, in general. That's still conflicting. 
but just in general, that's sort of the process. And I might make another couple of videos um, related to something else or financial um, specifically. But I do think that as far as the programming goes right now, um, I'm always looking to apply that. So I have some ideas. So I'm, I'm like keeping my ears open. This is also, I, I think, another theme is, is all these things that I try to do my, my whole life really is um, I'm trying to, to, at least my training, is to just predict the future as best I can and just learn. So I, I, I thought that this machine learning thing was going to be big in a, a few couple of years. Um, and, and I just see it. So I, I think it's important to learn. I think anybody should at least have some fundamental grasp of it. Um, I thought biotech, same thing. Um, and so you know, I was really following these fields, keeping my ears open. Um, and, and so there's definitely going to be op opportunities to apply um, really hard programming, but it's really a means to an end to me. And I'm, I'm more interested in being a better uh, associate, playing better than I am than I am. And, and truthfully, you know, most people don't think of associates as really coding a lot. Um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm exploring some ideas. I'm doing some things like Twitter analysis and maybe some, some other uh, sort of an analysis like that. Um, but for right now, I think it's kind of fundamentally different. I'm really going back to my roots, I guess, of looking at uh, drug companies, trying to figure out pathways. Um, you know, then obviously, of course, you have balance sheets and all that fun stuff. Um, kind of the root, it's really, really, kind of comes down to all being data science at the end of the day. Um, but really, yeah, so I think, just to sum it up, I guess, um, probably not going to be doing another stock video on programming. I, I, I just feel very uncomfortable. Uh, well, first of all, legally, if I, if I gave any indication of model that was anything, and, and, and I think I could get away with just, I think I could just do something really bad and just give like a, a random, like I could do something very simple and it would just be a bad model and it would just not be really that useful. You'd be on daily returns. It, it'd be, um, and I rather, and I, I've got, I've been getting a lot of uh, really positive feedback and I really do appreciate everybody reaching out um, and asking questions and, and interacting with me. Um, but a lot of people are taking this, I think, trying to actually use this to, to make money. And, and I think that um, I just feel very uncomfortable with that because I don't think that that's the best of what I can do. And if you ask me what was the best way to make money, it's like a completely different decision than how do, how do, how do I teach somebody to make a, a simple basic model or, you know, a baseline model to even go ahead. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for now. Um, again, I'm really sorry if you were looking forward to, um, to, to programming and sort of quantitative analysis, but I hope to demonstrate that, um, you know, you can look at a lot of different ways and, and just being open you never know when you're going to need to use like, you know, a, a cutting edge machine learning model, or you're going to need to be looking at going through a balance sheet and projecting that and trying to figure out um, whether or not the stock of this company is worth, I mean, so it's worth it to, I think, just really think about what you want to do. And to be honest, I'm really happy where I am. Um, and part of the reason why I didn't really, even though I probably could have gotten a, an, an easier job programming, um, it's just not something that I just wanted to continue to do. Um, and so keeping it in the back room, I know I'm probably gonna use it in the future. Maybe I could uh, manage some teams or something that, that use it. And I think that um, always gonna be worth it to keep fresh on it, but um, looking forward to sort of doing what I'm doing now. So thanks guys.